Hey, good evening. Uh, welcome to the Sunday sit down. Really glad you're here. And uh, uh, we've had a, whew, what a busy week. Uh, just got back from uh, Scottsdale where we were having our ultimate business summit intensive group uh, seminar. Uh, as you know, Larry Wingett and Randy Pennington and I have the ultimate business summit program that we do and <laughs> broken glass. And cur- <laughs> oh man. Well, as a Colts fan, I can't complain. It's been a, it's been a good day for us. So I uh, can't, can't complain about that, but my goodness, what a, what a tough day it's been for, uh, uh, for fans there. Scott, great to see you, Charles. I hope you're doing great. And your 49ers, uh, did extraordinarily well today. So congratulations, uh, uh, to you, my friend on, uh, on a good football day for you. That, that's great. Uh, we had our ultimate business summit inside, or I'm sorry, not insiders, uh, in the intensive group, uh, uh, for the last couple of days in Scottsdale, Arizona, just absolutely a fantastic time. Uh, being with the folks that participate in that, it, it's really amazing. We've got, uh, uh, and you see him here many times on uh, on Sunday sit down. Uh, we have uh, Paul and Vicky from the United Kingdom that come in. Uh, we have uh, uh, Diane and and Mark from Vancouver uh, in Canada that come in, and then many folks from the United States all over. We got Pat from uh, uh, from Canada as well. So I mean, people come from literally all over the world for our Ultimate Business Summit Intensive Group. And and one of the great things about that is we have a chance to talk about what the challenges are that they are facing in their respective businesses and how to make it better and and, and what what we can do to, to really make an impact and really, really make a difference. So um, I, I wanted to mention that because so many of us, you know, if, if you're in business for yourself or with whatever you might be doing, uh, so many times it feels like we're all alone in what we do. Have you noticed that? Uh, that that y- you think you're the only person with trouble with people at work with you, or you may think you're the only person that has challenges and difficulties in, in, in finding good people or in growing your business or in all of these kinds of things. And, and two of the things we, we do, I think, that are really important with that program is number one, you find that you're not in it alone, that you have other entrepreneurs and you have other folks that are experiencing these these similar challenges in their business, whether it's anything from from uh, running a, a contracting business, a chimney sweep, to, to an author, to a consultant, to, uh, yeah, it just goes on. I mean, the, 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 the wide variety of what people do in this is, is just always amazing to me. And, and uh, hey, Dana, great to see you. Happy Sunday to you, too. Glad you're here. Uh, and, and, and the other thing that really strikes me when we do these events is that um, uh, one of the most important things is our commitment to improve. And, you know, that's one of the things I've really noticed that's changing in, in the world today is it used to be that we would kind of struggle along by ourselves. And, and one of the things that things like Facebook and you know, what, what we're doing on the web, but, but also one of the changes that I've seen, it, you know, it, it, it's good grief. I, I signed up for masterclass. I don't know if you've seen that or not, but masterclass is, you know, you can hear Steve Martin teach you about how to write comedy and Werner Herzog, you know, the director of the, the movies that I've been in, um, he teaches you how to direct a movie and uh, any Leibowitz teaches you photography. I mean, you're hearing from the best Gordon Ramsay teaches you how to cook. I mean, you can get, training and learning and information from the absolute best people in the world at what they do. And it's all available to you online. Or you can go to places like lynda.com and, and uh, other places that uh, udemy.com and, and get all this great information. And it's all so accessible. But it also tends to be a little bit generic. It teaches you the concepts, but it doesn't teach it specifically to you, what you can be doing, how you specifically can get better. And what I've noticed is that now people are really focused on getting coaching and getting personal connectivity. Um, yeah, and a chef and a maid would do that. I, I posted earlier this week, uh, I just want somebody to give me a cup of coffee and a hug and $5 million and tell me it'll be fine. <laughs> and I'd settle for three, wouldn't you? I'd even skip the cup of coffee if they had everything else. Uh, but it's, it, it's amazing what, what's happening out there because now there's more resources than ever before, more information than ever before. And part of what we're also doing then 
is getting more into coaching and mastermind groups because they're so personal and they, they help us learn specifically what we need to be doing, right? It, it teaches me what I need to do specifically to get better. And, 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 and that's so exciting to me because it really gets to be precise and specific and, and what, what you need to do. So I, I, I'm just excited about that. It's been one of the great weeks and uh, it was really a, a terrific event that we've, that we had. And you've heard me talk about, and you'll hear me talk more in, in 2019 about the ultimate business summit. It's going to be held in August here in Las Vegas. We are moving hotels. We're going to be on the strip this year with the ultimate business summit, which is pretty cool. If you want to come to Las Vegas and just go to ultimate business and it'll tell you all about it. So, um, by the way, I want to say thanks, too, to my good pal, Jay Bear, uh, B-A-E-R. It's just uh, Jay Bear, B-A-E-R dot com, or do a Google search. I'm on his podcast this week, and it was just so much fun to be on his podcast, and uh, it, it's, a lot of folks have been retweeting it and talking about it, and so I, I really appreciate Jay having me on. Jay released a great book called Talk Triggers, and uh, it came out just a couple of weeks before Iconic did. So uh, it was it was awfully generous, awfully nice of Jay to have me on his podcast. It was really, really a terrific podcast. Hey, speaking of our Ultimate Business Summit intensive group, there's Kirby. And uh, Kirby, you, you got home just in time to see some snow. I saw your post. That's, oh my gosh, how incredible. Uh, snow all around you there in Richmond. Good grief. I, I, I've seen uh, uh, some pictures some friends posted from North Carolina uh, and, and all the snow that they've got there. Holy cow, just just amazing. Hey, I, I, another couple things I wanted to talk to you about uh, this evening is uh, what are you going to do to make next year better than this? And that's part of what we're going to be talking about as we go through the holidays and go through all of that is uh, w- what do we do to make next year better than this one? Hey, Cheryl, there's another of our UBS intensive folks. Uh, I, did you make it home okay? Did you get out all right? I mean, I know you were fighting that snowstorm and timing, so I hope I hope you got home okay. I didn't see if you... Uh, if you made it or not, but I, I sure hope you did. Cause man, I know that the snow is, has been hidden. Um, I'm, I'm a nut for planners. Tammy will tell you that if there's a new planner, I want to buy it. I, I, I think there might be some silver bullet planner that will get me organized and get me going for the next year. And this is the first one that I've really, really, really used, uh, on a consistent basis. And I want to hold it up. It's called the full focus planner. And it's from Michael Hyatt. Now, two two things to tell you. Number one is, yes, Michael Hyatt was the CEO of Thomas Nelson Publishers. Uh, when I did my books with Thomas Nelson, I have never met him in person. Secondly, this is not an ad. I don't get any residual. I don't get any payment. I'm just saying it because I'd like for you to, to, to look it up and, and see what you think about it. Full Focus Planner. Matter of fact, um, I even bought these for my... Uh, stepson and daughter-in-law uh, so that they can start doing this together. Tammy and I are doing this together. And part of what I love about this, let me show you a blank page here, is you work on a weekly preview, right? And you go through the weekly preview where you examine what you did the week before and what you're going to be doing this week. And then every day has your daily big three. Let's see if I can get it here right for the camera. Your daily big three, the three things you're going to be working on, other things you're going to be working on, your time schedule, and then your notes throughout the day. Now, the notes may be things that you're doing, uh, and, and I kind of use that almost as a, as a journal um, to, to put everything down. And uh, every day has a quote as well. For example, I just happened to open up Friday, December 21st. Obviously, that's why the pages are blank. Uh, but the quote for that is, a year from now, you may wish you had started today. I love that. Uh, so, um, Michael Hyatt, H Y A T T, just like Hyatt hotels, um, do a web search, but the full focus planner is, is something that, um, has really benefited me this year, helped, helped me to get more organized. And as anybody that knows me would testify, that has never been my strong suit. So, uh, check it out because it, it, it really has, has helped. And Cheryl, I'm glad it started about the time you got out to the house. Oh my gosh. Well, glad, glad you're there. Kirby. Yeah. I'm, I meant to mention that to everybody in Scottsdale this weekend. And I, man, I bought, you know, I've bought the, the Mel Robbins, um, you know, the, the five second planner and I've bought, uh, the Panda planners and, uh, you know, you name it, I've bought it. 
uh, I keep trying different ones. This this is the one I've I've really liked the best because it gets you to think about your yearly. Oh, by the way, uh, and then this is for a quarter, in uh, not twenty five cents. I mean, it's for a three month period, and so when you sign up for it, then they send you one of these uh, every three months, and so you you file them, but you carry this with you in your briefcase all the time, or or with you all the time as best you can. And it really gets you to be specific about what you're doing. And so at the end of the year, you've you've really focused on the things that matter. So really a good one. Um, the other thing I wanted to suggest is that one of the things that we did at the uh, Ultimate Business Summit intensive meeting was to ask a couple questions to kick it off. And, and the first question, oh, you've been looking for the Ultimate Planner. Oh, no kidding. Well, that, that's really terrific. Yeah, thanks for sharing that, Alan. I, I have never met Michael, but it, it is the best one I've seen so far as well. And I, I really appreciate that. Tammy is in the house, literally, <laughs> downstairs watching us. So uh, uh, Tammy is, is here, and uh, Tammy and I are working together on this. We're going to start. Tammy just got her first one in the mail. See, I've never had one I've liked enough, but I wanted to order one for Tammy as well and have us start doing this together. So she's got her planner and, and we're going to start January one on uh, our first quarter together on the full focus planner. So anyway, I, 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 Alan, I'm glad to hear you say that. I, I would, uh, his seminars, I'm sure are absolutely fantastic. His um, son-in-law is a friend of mine uh, as well. Joel Miller. Hey, Skip Pritchard just liked the video. Skip is uh, great friends with Michael Hyatt. So I, I, all in the family right there. It's all good. So um, the other thing I wanted to mention is what we talked about and what we kicked off our Ultimate Business Summit intensive group with. And that is one of the things that I would suggest that you do in, in this coming week is to write down what is the single accomplishment that you are most proud of of this past year. And the second thing I ask, ask you to do is this. What was your single biggest disappointment? of this past year. I think we need to do that to help us prepare for next year because a couple of things are going to happen. Uh, the, the, it's an old line, an old song, but, but it's absolutely true. We need to accentuate the positive and eliminate the negative. So when you look at your biggest success of this past year, what could you do to accentuate that either to take it to another level or to find another area where you would like that success and repeat the discipline and the process that allowed you to obtain the success that you've had this year. So isolate that. What, what was your single biggest success that you're proud of, of this past year? And secondly, what, what didn't work out the way you wanted it to? I, I don't want to say failure because many times we think that failure means that we did something wrong or that something was bad. And, and failure is an educational process. Failure is what we learn from as well. So, so continue to learn from that. But, but, the, but the thing I'd like for you to do is to isolate what went right, to isolate what did not go right, and then to consider what made each of those happen. What made the thing that went right go right? What made the thing that went wrong go wrong? And when we get together next week for Sunday Sit Down, we're going to talk about some of the very specific ways that you can make what goes right in 2019 even better and turn around what went wrong and, and, and learn from that, but also try to find ways to keep that from happening in the coming year. But if we talk about ideas about how to get better, if we talk about how to, how to turn that around, if you're not looking at something very specific, many times it just seems like a generic idea or it seems like a good thing to do, kind of like a New Year's resolution, right? Do you remember what your resolutions were this time a year ago? Most of us don't. Not only did we not attain it, we don't even remember what they were. So I want you to be very specific about that, and uh, that's kind of your homework. I'll do a post uh, th this week as well to remind you about that. But it is something I'd like for you to, to think about. Biggest success of 2018, biggest disappointment of 2018. And we'll talk more about how you turn that around in the coming in the coming year. All right. So, uh, by the way, thank you, thank you, thank you to everybody. The, the sales of Iconic have been just such an incredible surprise and blessing, and I can't thank you enough for that. You probably saw where um, uh, Forbes.com named it as one of the ten best business books of the year, 
And also there was an international uh, customer experience consulting group that named it as one of the 10 best customer experience books of the year. Um, and so just so privileged and excited about that. Uh, Barnes and Noble at, at no cost to us volunteered to keep it in the window, uh, fifth Avenue in Manhattan for an extended period of time, uh, because it's selling so well in, in that store, which is the biggest selling, uh, bookstore for business books in the United States. So, uh, man, just, just so privileged and so thankful. So thank you. If you've purchased iconic, if you haven't, it makes great Christmas gifts. <laughs> Couldn't resist. Uh, so thanks everybody for that. I hope you have a spectacular week this week, and I look forward to joining you again next week right here, 8 p.m. Eastern, 5 o'clock Pacific, uh, different times for wherever you are in the world for Sunday sit down. Hey, Scott, thank you. I appreciate you saying that's iconic. I love it. That's, that's awesome. I got I to gotta tell you, too, this was such a thrill. I got an email from a woman who, a woman who is um, uh, about to become the CEO of a Silicon Valley startup. She was a senior executive at one of the biggest um, tech firms in the world. And she just left that to become CEO of a startup. And she wrote and said that what she learned from the book was going to be one of the guiding principles uh, going forward for her in her leadership position in the new company. That just brings tears to my eyes, man. I tell you what, I, I, I've sat right here at this chair in this room by myself, you know, and you're writing and, and, uh, Skip Pritchard has written a fantastic book called The Book of Mistakes. And I, I, you know what I'm talking about is that you, it's almost like you hit a wall and you think, man, is anybody going to read this? Or does this even make sense? Or what am I doing? And to have somebody say that was just uh, just incredible. Hey, Kirby, let's see. Got my wife to agree to weekly planning. but put, Oh, that's fantastic. <laughs> well, I don't know about that. You know, it's so funny. Uh, Tammy and I had dinner last night with the Lears that are our great friends, uh, Dan and Jennifer Lear. And uh, Dan said something. I went, wow, what a great idea. And Tammy was like, I have been telling you that forever. And somebody else says it, and it's a good idea. And, you know, she's exactly right. But it, isn't that funny how, how it goes that way? So uh, glad, glad she liked it. Glad it was good. So thank you for everybody that liked and shared the video, too. I really appreciate it. And I look forward to talking to you again next week right here on the Sunday Sit Down. Thank you so much and have an iconic day.